Hi, my name is Ralph Gilles. I'm at uh, Nashville Super Speedway, part of the Hot Rod Power Tours at the HP Tuner's booth because we have HP Tuner in, inside this vehicle. So this is Hallucination. It started life out as a 68 uh, Charger. It's a resto mod, but you know, a lot of careful touches to keep it true to the original. Um, the proportions are pretty much as stock, except for the stance. That was a big part of the design is getting the stance as low as possible. That required rebuilding the entire floor of the vehicle. So that all the drivetrains tucked in. It's a good, uh, I would say six inches lower than a normal charger, but still has five inches of ground clearance. <laughs> so starting with the front end, uh, I chose the 68 because I love the hideaway lamps. I grew up loving that car watching Dukes of Hazzard and stuff like that. Uh, so there's something really special about 68. To me, it's one of the purest uh, versions of the charger. Uh, plus I'm Mopar, I've uh, been working for the company over 32 years now. This features the Elephant, the all aluminum, uh, 1000 horsepower uh, crate motor from Mopar. Uh, it's stock, we didn't do anything to it. We have the HP90 uh, transmission, the automatic eight speed because my wife drives it with me, so she, she didn't want to stick. Uh, the interiors by Gabe Customs, phenomenal uh, work that they did there. Uh, just trimmed, everything is, you know, the dash is original in terms of the layout, but it's all custom. Uh, has really, you know, no, no original parts left. Uh, except for the basic layout of the dash. What's really cool about this vehicle is, is the laying of the carbon. Speedcore did a phenomenal job that all the carbon weave is oriented in the same direction throughout the whole car. That, that takes a lot, a lot of work uh, to do that, and I couldn't be happier with the build quality. Uh, the other thing we did is we used cer Cerakote coatings. So all the trim, which would have been stainless steel, is actually made of, of Cerakote and aluminum and also leveled to the bodywork. So there's really nothing standing out. It's getting an amazing fuel economy. We didn't expect to be getting about 20 mpg considering the size of the engine uh, but i think all of those details have made the car a little slippier than we expected uh, i don't know why but driving now spending now 800 miles in the vehicle turns out the steering wheel is my favorite part it's it's got the retro thickness it's a really thin rim uh which is possible because of power steering uh but they did such a beautiful job the intricate details the dish um just the way it's on it's a work of art all by itself uh but the, the vehicle is one of those things it takes a while to notice all details we spent three years building it and on uh, every couple of weeks, there was another idea that came along. So, so um, let's say the, we call that mission creep, I think, in our business. <laughs>